and welcome. In this video segment, I'm going to be introducing units of measurement. How do we measure matter? And how do we measure changes in matter, especially changes that involve bond breaking and bond forming? Now, in order to develop a convention, a system in which scientists can communicate well with one another, scientists developed what's called the SI, or System Internacional, the system, international system for units. And if everything is always converted, to these SI units, you're much more likely to get your answer correct um, when you do your mathematics. Our SI unit for length is the meter. Now these first five are called pure SI units. They're directly measurable SI units. For mass, we have the kilogram. Time, it's the second. Current, it's an amp. Temperature, this is unusual. You might think I'm about to say Celsius, but I'm not. Our temperature scale is called the Kelvin scale. So you should be learning that in class, or those of you who are my students, you will definitely be learning that in class and in another video. The Kelvin is the only temperature scale, the Kelvin scale, that is physically meaningful. And so you have to use it in almost all of your calculations for chemistry. Amount, if we're just talking about a vague amount or a count of a chemical, we would use, I know this is weird if you've not heard of it, but it's called the mole. Okay, and that's a unique little number, not a furry animal uh, in chemistry. This is more a physics term, but I just put it in there for completeness. The candela is luminous intensity. Now, uh, derived units are some sort of mathematical operation involving the um, pure units. So in volume, you're doing length times width times height. And yes, you can directly measure a volume in a graduated cylinder, but it is still those markings on the graduated cylinder have been derived or multiplied or determined based on the mathematics. Now, the meter cubed would be the SI unit, right? Because distance is meter. So you would think the meter cubed would be SI, and it is. But here's the deal. A meter cubed is a thousand liters. Just envision that two liter bottle of, of soda um, that, you, that you buy at the store and, and multiply that by whatever that is, 500, right? That's way too many. And so it's too large of a number to use conveniently. So you should know that this is the SI unit, but you should also be familiar with two more. A decimeter cubed is one liter and a centimeter cubed is one milliliter. So if you're in an IB chemistry program, you definitely want to know those. If you go into some sort of medical field, you know, they often talk about CCs, you know, give them 10 CCs of whatever medicine they're taking. They're talking about a cubic centimeter. So that's where CC came from, cubic centimeter. Right. So these are the probably much more common than meter cubed. However, that's the SI unit. Now for pressure, it's derived by force per unit area. So it's kilograms for every meter second squared. And that's named after a dead guy named Pascal. So we're going to talk about Pascals or more often in chemistry, you'll see kilopascals. A thousand pascals is one kilopascal. Okay, so you'll see those a lot. Now, for energy, the unit based on SI units is a kilogram meter squared per second squared which is very cumbersome to write all the time. That's why as long as you keep everything, remember kilograms are mass, 
not grams, but kilograms. So as long as you keep all your units in SI units, you know you're safe in calculating energy in joules, another dead guy who got a unit named after him, joules. And that's given the symbol joule. Okay, so that's a brief introduction. Units are very critical. Almost every number in chemistry is going to have a unit associated with it. And I'll tell you something, if you're one of my students, you're missing a unit and you're missing some points. And chemistry is pretty challenging. We don't want you losing points on units. So you always want to put down a unit. Whether you feel like you understand the math or not, you make sure you get those units down. All right, thanks lots for joining me. Enjoy your journey of chemistry.